Today we're going to be talking about how I wrote some custom software for my mouse. No, not this mouse, but rather this mouse to interact with Power BI. Here's how we got here. So for the past five years, I've carried around this mouse with me pretty much every single day. It's a Logitech MX Master 3, and I've had it for just about five years. And I have not been gentle with it. I've thrown it in my backpack, I've tossed it around, it's been in a suitcase. And unfortunately, that means that it is starting to come apart right here, which means for Christmas, I asked for a new version of the same mouse, which is how we got to the Logitech MX Master 4. And it's pretty much the same thing, except for the fact that it has this button right here, and then this button right here, which activates some special software. Now that software is really, really cool. So I'm gonna click the button now, and what you can see is it pops open this wheel, and the mouse vibrates as you go around the wheel, but it can do all kinds of different things. So for example, it could play or pause music, open notes, open an AI chatbot, lock the computer, it can open up its own software. It can take a screenshot. You know, if, if I click File Explorer, right, it opens up File Explorer over here on a new window. But I think you get the point. You push the button and a little shortcut window pops up. But the shortcut window is application aware. So what does that mean? Well, it means when I open up the Logitech management software and I go over here into the actions ring and then I go customize ring, I can create custom profiles or sh shortcuts for different programs. So for example, right here in clip, right? I could drag this one over and then this one over and then this one over right here. And then when I have DaVinci Resolve open, like I happen to have right now, and then I right click in DaVinci Resolve, I now have separate shortcuts that I just customized instead of the default ones, right, that I would have if I didn't have DaVinci Resolve open. So here, right, you can see I'm back to my other ones. Now what makes this even cooler is they have a application store where you can buy a bunch of custom stuff for your applications. And I, being you know the Power BI user that I am, I thought, well, great, they must have a shortcut for Power BI. So I searched for it and they have nothing. However, luckily for us, we live in the age of AI and Logitech has an SDK on how you can build your own custom plugins for this mouse. So I figured how hard could it be? And I spent the afternoon five coding my own custom plugin for Power BI and the MX4 Master Mouse. Let's take a look at how it works. And by the way, it does have a few glitches, but I'll point those out along the way. So not to state the obvious, but my vibe coded mouse plugin for Power BI is not on the Logitech App Store, but it is in this folder. So with the Logitech Options app, I will open up the most recent build of my Power BI plugin for the Logitech M4 Master, and we will install it. And what we'll see is all of the various options that I have put into this mouse. It can copy and paste some code snippets. It can comment and uncomment DAX. It can expand and collapse the formula bar. It can add a new line in DAX, uh, ignore the debugger. That's because I'm trying to figure out why these icons aren't appearing here or here. So right, this should be a little Power BI icon, and then this should match the icons here. Um, and then we have a, a new file and a save. Now, all of these are actions that you can go ahead and you can add into this wheel right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this. Do, do, do. And I'm going to go right here and add these. So now we have our shortcut wheel full of Microsoft Power BI shortcuts. Now, remember, this is application aware. So let's exit out of this and let's open up Microsoft Power BI Desktop. Now, once Power BI Desktop is open, one of the things I've noticed is that it doesn't always uh, start working right away when you right click, although it did there. So let's start by clicking our newest shortcut, which is new file. And as you can see, when you click this, Microsoft Power BI simply opens up and creates a secondary new file. 
Then once you have your file open, what you can go ahead and do is you can right click and you can save it as uh, something, right? So like, let's save this as video demo. Then you're like, okay, well, I need a place to put my uh, measures that I'm gonna create in this report. So I can right click again and I can go over here and I can create my measure table with some TMDL and I can click apply. And just like that, it'll go ahead and apply it. And then I can be like, okay, well, let's create a new measure. So I can create this new measure to put in my measures table. And I can say, oh, that is not enough room. So I need to expand the formula bar so I have enough room. And then you can be like, oh, well, I need some space to code. So you can enter in a new line. And then you can say, hey, why don't we not start from scratch? And let's enter in our variable and return. And then you can say, oh, by the way, we don't want any of this. So let's go ahead and let's comment all of that out and just set this measure equal to hello world and click enter. So if you're not already sold and wanting to buy this mouse, I think you get the point. I really like the mouse and I like Microsoft Power BI. However, I do want to show you one additional feature I put in, and I think it's really pretty cool. And that is when you're in Microsoft Power BI and you have the ring activated and you open it up, you can trigger actions from Power BI into other applications like what I just did here to open up the Daxlib website. And that is because this whole plugin is written in C Sharp which means that we can do things like navigate to a website really pretty easily. So here, for example, is the command that we're using to navigate to uh, daxlib.org. It also allows for you to really quickly send keyboard shortcuts, which is how I'm having it create a new file and the save. It also allows for you to do things like, for example, paste a bunch of text. So like, for example, right here, I'm setting the clipboard equal to the TMDL text that I wanted to paste or the uh, variable DAX code that I wanted to paste. And then it also allows for you to do really kind of cool things. Like for example, only have the ring open when the process name is Power BI desktop. So if there's demand, I will release the plugin software that I wrote for this mouse. In the meantime, though, it's probably just something fun for me to have on my computer. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy Microsoft Power BI, Data, SQL, a little bit of Python, definitely not uh, C or C sharp <laughs> vibe coding, uh, go ahead and subscribe because that's generally what I make videos on and I like to talk about. Thanks for watching.